Welcome to today's video. It is gonna be again a short one, just my workout because I'm so tired. It's not gonna be a good edit today at the beginning. I don't have time. I thought I'm just gonna put the video out. So let's enjoy it right after the intro. So interesting workout today. It wasn't as great, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great either. So you go through the process of the cut, that gives me way too much. You always go through that, you have like good workouts, bad workouts, but at the end of the day, as long as you get your volume in, weights in, which might drop a little bit because you have less, less glycogen and everything, I'll just keep it up, uh, power through it, and no cheat meals. Let me see. Okay, I just need to see that I uh, took a picture with it. That's the right setting. So I did that. That's my little update. I can't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm busy as well in the morning. Come back and then see how the squat feel. Ah, fun times. So let's see you at my squat. So today was a squat workout, which I didn't really want to start. I was like tired. I'm really exhausted because at the end of my training week, I always do like five days training, two days off for the weekend. I, I cannot switch it up other ways because you can't, I'm always busy with the kids because I'm out of school, so I'm gonna do all this stuff. So I have to do it that way. But it's like this, basically the squat is the fourth day and exhausted, I didn't want to start. But once I start, I, I kind of got it done. I'm tired, I'm really restricting my caffeine a little bit. I don't want to overdo the caffeine. I, this is why I didn't make coffee like last time for my squat workout. But as you can see, or you, or you saw this one, uh, the form for the first set was horrible. I mean, I had to readjust and everything. But uh, the other sets afterwards worked out better. Like once I got in the routine, it was perfect. So unfortunately, I only filmed the first set for video purposes because I want to get it done fast. And I was doing stuff in between, like cleaning up, like always. That's the only disadvantage of being at home. I always do giant sets and then I have like 60 seconds and I clean up real uh, fast or make food or something like that. So, and I was like, time was over. I had an appointment earlier this morning, so I started out late. It's always like that, always excuses. I know, I know. Anyways, I got it done. That's what I uh, was saying as well to people. Like it's sometimes like willpower is like what need when you need to cut. Like you have to see 700 calories a day. It's not that great. This one might be, I might actually extend my 700 deficit for another week. Cause like I'm chopping like more, probably like pound, or pound to pound and a half to uh, a week or to two pounds so I can get my final weight in. And then instead of having it four weeks, like my deadline is June, beginning of June, I'm gonna be starting a week early, like just to slowly rebound for a week, give me more time. That's the plans for now. So next is gonna be my next work workout for the next day. So th today was my chest workout. I lowered it from 210 to 205 for four sets, eight reps. It was tough as a nail, uh, but I got it done, expected it. And this morning I woke up like a pound lighter than yesterday, which is for me good indication that my squat workout was right, right intensity because of the legs. Like if I'm in a deficit, which I am right now, I always lose weight. Next day, like it's, it's like water weight every, uh, that I retain because I sweat a lot. I might be picking up tomorrow, like, a, or don't lose any weight for t tomorrow. It's always like that, but it is great always seeing the result in the morning. Like, yes, it was a good workout because I'm not really getting sore because I'm doing similar exercise all the time and I'm not getting really getting sore unless I would take a break or switch up my routine which I am not. So that was it. What else? Oh yeah. It's bad going shopping when you're on a cut and Target has like all the cereal on clearance. I bought like eight boxes of cereal, which I am going to eat um, once I'm done. And actually I'm eating one box this weekend. Like the way I do it is I'm, um, I'm putting my macros 2,800 calories. I can eat one full box of a smaller box like is what's it 12 ounces i think and i'm gonna drink a gallon of fat-free milk and then i'm making up the rest i think it's one scoop of protein powder and then up 
and I'm roughly at 2,800 calories. That's how I make it up. And it almost fits my macros except the fat content. But on Sunday, I might have to go somewhere to eat, eat out. So I am going to keep the fat low because eating out is always more fat in it. I make, make up the day before instead of that. So, so that's about it. I'm rambling on. So hopefully you guys like this, like little updates, like not much going on. Like the working out part takes up my energy like today. Like I didn't want to start. So starting took like slower than towards the end because I was running out of time. I rushed, not rushed for it, but I, I took lower rest breaks and everything. So it worked out perfectly. So my social media is going to be right here. I think I have a couple of new subscribers. Thank you for that. I hope you like that. Then I'm already like excited, like three weeks. And I'm four weeks probably like from now, I might be having another cheat day. I don't know how, what, why, when exactly, but... I will figure it out once it is. Like it's definitely going to be, I think, the week of probably June 10th. I hope, unless I'm going to have some binge eating episode. Like, but I'm really like determined right now for the last like two weeks or three. It's technically, it's three weeks. But um, I might only do it two weeks because my weight is dropping real nice to do that. So hopefully you like that, so guys. So stay healthy, train hard, and see you guys soon in my next video. Hope you liked it. So, bye. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.